So in this example, we're being asked, what is the prime factorization of 256? So we're going to have to use prime factorization in order to find all of our prime numbers within a number of 256. So since 256 is a pretty big number, and off the top of our head, we can't really think of two numbers that we can multiply together that give us 256, we're going to have to use our divisibility rules to find two factors. So what do we know about our divisibility rules? Well, we know that any even number is at least divisible by 2. We also know that any number whose last two digits are divisible by 4 makes the whole number divisible by 4. So is, is 56 divisible by 4? Yes, because 4 times 14 will give us our number 56. So we know that 4 is a factor of 256. So let's go ahead and divide 256 by 4 so we can find the two factors that we need in order to get um, divide 4 evenly, I'm sorry, into 256. How many times does 4 go into 25? Well, 4 goes a total of 6 times into 25 because 4 times 6 is 24, and we're left with the remainder of 1. We're going to bring down our 6. How many times does 4 go into 16? 4 goes a total of 4 times into 16, and we're left with the remainder of 0. So two factors of 256 are 4 and 64. So we're to write 256 up here and create our factor tree. Two factors that we would write that gives us 256 are 4 times 64. Now I want us to think, are, is, is our number 4 and 64, are they prime numbers or composite numbers? Remember, prime numbers are numbers that contain exactly two factors, one in itself. And composite numbers are numbers that contain more than two factors. Um, so is 4 and 64, are these prime numbers or are they composite numbers? Well, they're composite numbers because we could continue to break down our numbers um, into other factors, right? So I'm going to put a box around my 4 and I'm going to put a, a box around my 64, which indicates that both of these numbers are composite numbers. And again, the reason why they're composite is because they have other factors other than one in itself. For example, 4, we can multiply 2 times 2 in order to get 4. And 64, what two numbers can we multiply to get 64? Well, we can multiply 8 times 8. So we found now two more factors of these numbers. And I want to, I want to ask you guys, is 2 a prime number or a composite number? Good job. 2 is prime because it contains exactly two factors. The only way we can get our number 2 is by multiplying 1 and 2. And our 8 is composite, so I'm going to go ahead and put a box around both of these 8s because we could further break down these numbers into other factors other than 1 in itself. What other factors will give me my number 8? Well, I've known multiplications. You know that 2 times 4 will give, you, will give us 8. And on the right side, I'm going to go ahead and put 2 and 4 in our factor tree because 2 times 4 will give us our number 8. And I'm going to circle our 2's because 2's are prime numbers because they contain exactly two factors, one in itself. But I'm going to go ahead and put a box around our 4's because four, our 4's contain more factors than just 1 times 4. So what two factors give me 4? Well, 2 times 2 is equivalent to 4 and 2 times 2 is equivalent to 4. So I found all of my prime numbers of my number 256. Now all I have to do is simply list them um, in, in prime factorization form. So how many 2's do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We had a total amount of eight twos. Those are our only prime numbers for this problem. So two to the power of eight is equivalent to 256. That is our answer.